Have you just tried to open up a game or program and something like this showed up? Well, that's called a missing DLL error and sucks because it won't let you start up your program until we provide the missing DLL file. But don't throw your PC out the window yet because we have two ways of fixing it. I'm running on Windows 11 here, but this will also work fine for Windows 10, 8 or 7. Okay, let's get started. Method number one is to install the DLL file ourselves. For this, head over to our website by clicking the link in the description or in the i symbol in the upper right corner. First off, scroll a bit down to the download section and download the DLL file. After downloading it, open it up and keep it on the screen. Now we need to open up our explorer and head over to our main PC, then into the C drive and then into the Windows folder. Now here scroll all the way down until we can see a folder called system32 and one called syswow64. Here drag the DLL into the system32 folder and also into the syswow64 folder. On a side note, if you're using a 32-bit Windows 10, 8 or 7, you are not going to have a syswow64 folder. In that case, you can just skip that step. Now you can close all of these windows and restart your PC. And after a fresh restart of your PC, the program that was showing you the DLL error should now be detecting the DLL correctly and open up just fine. But there are instances where the program just doesn't want to find the DLL. There are. And for these cases, we have a method number two. There is a package from Microsoft themselves called DirectX and, and so on. And that one contains the DLL and should fix the error if it hasn't been done before. So let's go back to our website using the method2 link from the description or the i symbol in the upper right corner. Here again scroll all the way down to the download section and download the package. Once downloaded, open up the installer, check the mark next to I accept and don't forget to uncheck the mark for the Bing bar because nobody wants that and then click a couple of times on next and just wait until the installation is finished. Once everything is done, just like before, restart your PC and the program should finally start up and you can start doing whatever you want it to do. Okay, I hope you got your problem resolved and you can now use whatever program you wanted to use. I know a bit which program can cause which DLL errors, but I would love to know for every DLL, so please let me know what exact program as a comment down below. And if you encounter a DLL error that has not been featured on the channel yet, don't be shy, just write a comment down below and I will add it to my to-do list. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and if it helped, leave a like, make sure to be subscribed with a bell icon to not miss the next video and have a look at one of these totally random videos.